Hello, everyone. You're tuning into Campus Radio, your station, your music. Yep, and you're here with me, Martin. And me, City. On the MNS show. show. Of course, arranging in any other way would just sound pretty oh, wrong, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, and here on today's show, we're going to introduce to you some good YouTube stars. Some interesting SMU confessions. And of course, our article for the day. <laughs> so do stay tuned. Here is Publimus with the cover of September. And that was Pomplamoose with a cover of Earth, Wind and Fire, a song September. Yep, of course, a brilliant, brilliant song written long ago. Alright, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Alright, okay. Okay, Martin, how was your day actually? Oh, okay, it's actually been a very long day. Actually, just, just let the viewers know, okay? Our show, it's a recorded show, it's not live. Um, but here, um, this is our first time doing a radio show, in fact, and we want to try to get you all involved as much as possible. So, in fact, we actually have a free dedication system. We air on a uh, Wednesdays, every alternate Wednesdays. Yeah, on week 6 and 8. Yep. I'm not sure if we're airing on 10. Yep, and we're actually on week 5 right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually on week 5 now. We are totally live, people. Totally live. So if you have any dedications that you want to, you know, say, sh- shout it out to someone, uh, feel free to email us at martinandcityshow at gmail.com. That's martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, A-N-D-S-I-T-I-S-H-O-W at gmail.com. That's quite long. <laughs> now that I think about it. You, you know why? Here's, what, here's what's funny, okay? I try to keep M and S show at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And no, somebody already took it actually maybe the M and S show isn't as unique as we thought yeah. that's quite sad isn't it's it it's quite sad it, 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 people have been coming out telling me you know you know, M and S like Max and Spencers mm. it's quite sad <laughs> but they are more established <laughs> no, we have, no. We, we have our tagline because uh, arranging it anyway would just sound wrong Yes, because that's a legitimate tagline for yep, us. Yep, if not be S and M show. Considering the amount of innuendos we always have in our show, and then we literally have to start show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the S and M show. You do realize it doesn't sound nice. I tried. Okay, that was for you, Gwen. <laughs> oh, that. Ah, all right. So <laughs> no, um, it's. I think it's gonna be quite fun. Um, we having the show throughout the whole sem. Oh, it's gonna be fun and a humongous headache. <laughs> <laughs> to think of what we're going to say. City, so please send City, in City hates emails. it because she's going to do all the editing. Quite possibly, I believe. <laughs> no! No, I mean, come on, man. City doesn't give you credit where credit is due. That sucks. I give you credit where it's due. Just that so far, there isn't any <laughs> to be due. <laughs> such I still as love, love you, Gwen. Such as love. I love you, Gwen. <laughs> this is all for you. <laughs> okay, you know what? Um, in fact, actually, today for our show, um, we, we are trying to do something a little different here. Um, we're going to look through SMU confessions. Yeah, and we also have a very interesting article that we came across. Yeah, and I think it's something very interesting. Uh, just now when I was having my class, uh, my mm-hmm. CT class, uh, a, yeah, creative thinking where it actually feels like an AS class thanks to the prof, mm-hmm. um, I added our TA on Facebook. Our TA is just sitting right in front of me. When I added her, she's like, oh, you're MC Lucian. I see you on this new confessions. <laughs> I guess now we know where to start off with. We should start off with F- SMU Confessions. <laughs> Alright, so coming right up after this piece of music, you're going to hear some SMU Confessions and what we think of them. And if you've seen me on SMU Confessions, this is going to be a live version of trolling. All right? yep, yep. <laughs> so stay tuned. This is SMU Campus Radio. Your station, your music. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're tuning in to SMU Confessions. <laughs> No, actually, you're tuning oh in to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. I have no idea why I said that. You are together with me, City, and that was Martin, and uh, we make up the m and show. I'm still trying to recover from my stupidity right now. <laughs> All right, if you're wondering why I was chuckling in every single thing and why I introduces this SMU Confessions, confessions. <laughs> it's because that is what we're starting off for this moment. Yep. All right, so let's start off with uh, SMU Confession, hashtag number 17114. Aww. Um, actually, it's quite interesting how we have 17,000 confessions already. Yeah, do you know when it started? Oh, uh, when? February 3rd, I believe, of this year. Wait, you're kidding? February 3rd? That's how many months? Okay, let's see. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Eight, Eight months. months. That's about an average of 2,000 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, SMU confessions per month. That's freaking retarded, including the fact that we had three months of summer. Oh my 
God, people are insane. What is there to confess about? I think I think this is a good outlet to vent your frustration vent? on. The admins must have quite a headache. Well, whoever the admins are, big shout out to you. You've obviously created one of the most interesting sites that people go to during their lessons that they find boring. Cough, cough, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first confession that we'd like to feature, as Martin has said, is hashtag 17114. Yep, 17,114. And it goes, <laughs> no, stage it, chairs attached. And it's to a go. Why do all the good ones have to be straight? Okay, the reason why we chose his confession is partly because we, we know, know the we know the chair, chair and who he's attached to. Yeah, it's quite funny because um he loves pink. He loves the color pink. Mm-hmm. And he has long hair. And he has long hair, which he plans to keep until about year four. Yeah, year four. And here that that is where the fun part comes in. Mm-hmm. People think he's gay because of this. He's not. He's really, really not. Yeah, it's it's testimony right now, okay, because recently he got attached, mm-hmm. right, uh, to this to this girl. Uh, let's not this, reveal their identities. Let's not reveal? Oh, that's so sad. All right. <coughs> but yeah, yeah, he recently got attached and... Um, They've actually been pretty interesting. <laughs> the dynamics in their relationship. Yep, so to answer this person, why do all the good ones have to be straight? Um, it's just that you're not looking. Yeah, you're not looking hard enough. Are, I'm sure there are good ones who are... Yeah. Uh, Slanted. What's the opposite of straight in this case? I um happy. bent bent. <laughs> I have no. no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, okay. But I'm pretty sure you'll find someone. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, let's look on to the next one. Right. Oh, SMU confessions. You know what comes to mind when I think of SMU confessions? What do you think about? I think of the guy with the long hair in B E. Oh, he's so charismatic, <laughs> and he's sitting next to me, and his name is M C Lucia. Oh <sighs> God, the, mon- the number of admirers he's gotten. Hey, you know, you know, we, we keep doing this. I'm just fearful of the day my parents decide to tune into SMU <laughs> campus radio and find out that I actually have a Facebook. <laughs> oh. Really, they don't know. They don't know. That's why my name is hidden. That's why oh. my name is not Martin Chu. It's M C Lucia. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to hide it. The the dude of the long hair. All right, so in BE, oh. who's not the stage at chair, and uh, is in K scope. Uh, Anything else? And uh, is my deputy director. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a look at this one. Numbers one seven one one nine. I would like to confess it takes too much effort, commitment, and time to have a girlfriend in SMU with all of Australia's workload. Mm, the solution to being free while satisfying ourselves. Study, study hard, hard during, during the weekdays days. and club hard during the weekends. There you have it. Really? Now, you see, here's the thing, you see. You, you'd like to confess you have too much time. I mean, you, you have too much work to dedicate to your girlfriend. And then after that, you, you, you make it sound like a problem. And then here you are coming to say that, oh, you, that you have a solution. Then why the hell are you even on SMU confessions, man? Uh, he just wants some attention. That's damn retarded. All right, let's just... <laughs> whoever this person is, it's just quite crappy. All right, all right. Before we move on to other confessions, we have a song coming up, don't we? Yep. And in fact, it's going to be one of my favorite uh, local bands, actually. Actually, this song, I don't know whether they really are together or not, mm-hmm. but uh, just take a listen to them. Here is the Hubba Bubbas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuning in to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music, and you're back with us, the MS Show. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, so we are still on the topic of SMU confessions and uh, yep. scrolling through further downwards. Uh, we've seen quite a few ones that uh, we kind of really want to say about All right, this. if you guys are going to try to find these confessions, it's because it's done like a week before, so you might have a lot of scrolling to do. Yep, uh, just a reminder that uh, we take in dedications, but since this is our first week, we don't really have any dedications coming in. But if you want to say something to someone, maybe, you know, say something someone like, I love you or something, and you scared the person might hear, but you just want to see it and hold Hopefully she was tuning to SMU Campus Radio. Do send it to us, Martin and City Show. Dot at gmail dot com. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, why don't you spell that email out? M a r t i n a n d s i t i s h o w at gmail dot com. Fantastic. You don't need to spell Gmail, right? No, I don't think so. All right, it's, it's G- quite clear. G. All right, so on to SMU confessions. Hashtag number one seven zero nine three. City. I am a very pretty girl, but find a thrill in fart bombing in the library. But the other day, it came out a bit too rapidly and loudly, and I think a few guys heard me. Now, whenever I meet them, they give me the look. One used to be after me, but I'm afraid my chance just exploded in thin air. Oh yeah, I stayed myself that day too. And FYI, this is not me, okay? I'm just <laughs> reading it out. It just so happens that I'm reading this out. It is not about me, okay? Just to clarify. Alright. It is not me. Okay, but... 
I think it's funny. This girl says she stained herself while trying to fart. You know what we call that? We call that the sway fart. You know? The sway fart. Yeah, that'd be damn unlucky. You mean the, the kinds where you can't tell if shit's gonna come out or not? Yeah, then you just fart and then, and then oh. Yeah, gross. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. Oh my god, you're a very pretty girl, but you find a thrill in fart bombing in a library. I don't. I, okay. <laughs> what do you think of this kind of girls then? I don't know. I think they're fun. Kay. I mean, as in, I think it's fun to do it. I think it's fun, as in you have a sense of humor at least. But <laughs> it's such an unglamorous thing to say. I I find a thrill in <laughs> fart bombing. Yeah. What? The best part that is, is she not stained me. herself. That the is best not part me. is she stained herself. Right. Oh my not sure it was a period stain, but I'm sure it was just something funny. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the fart bombing and she stained herself. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine how embarrassing it is to walk around? If she wore a white skirt that day. Oh my god. <laughs> the horror. Okay, okay. Here's my own SMU confession, okay? Mm-hmm. When I was in secondary school... Mm. Um, this isn't an I, SMU confession that's case. Okay, fine, whatever. When I was in secondary school, um, I used to try to cover up my farts by like coughing very loudly. So like I'll fart and then I'll cough. So like so when it comes out of time, the, <laughs> the sound is covered by the cough like <coughs> while <it's> going, <laughs> So no nobody hears it. <laughs> Makes me think of my sister. She sneezed and farted at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing <laughs> I ever saw or heard and we were just cracking up the whole time after that and she did it okay, oh my god okay, so so here's the best part okay so mm-hmm. I, I usually try like I said I, us- I try to cough and then cover mm-hmm. up the fart sound yeah. so what happened was that uh, I was actually sitting down on a hard floor the other time right mm-hmm. when this happened yeah. so I wanted to cough and cover it up but I did not know it was going to be a very loud fart. Oh, God. <laughs> so I coughed and farted at the same time. And everyone... It, the best part was there was somebody talking. <laughs> and everyone around me stopped, turned, and looked at me. <laughs> I was, oh, no. It was so embarrassing. So to the girl who likes fart bombing, good on you. Um, glad you're not like me trying to hide my farts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, before we move on to one more SMU confession, we'll have another song coming up. Yep, and in fact, we're going to listen to some John Mayer right now. Oh, really? Yep, and I think you like this people, City. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. So coming back up here on SMU Campus Radio. Your station, your, your music. music. And that was Cameron Mitchell with a cover of John Mayer's Stop This Train. Yeah, Aww. and, and City so <laughs> amazed by this by this <laughs> guy. He's not British, is he? No, he's not British. He's American. But I love his voice. His singing voice is really very nice. Yep. And he's very cute. It's just in case uh, if there's any British guys uh, here in the SMU. <laughs> if you've seen City around and you think she's pretty, you have a higher chance than many other guys no. out there. You definitely do. <laughs> City loves cats and loves British people. No, no, no. I love cats and... British, Irish, and Scottish accents. So she'll love a cat with a British and Irish Scottish accent. So if you if find my it, cat could do that, I'd be like, oh, it won't be a lie. Can you imagine your cat going meow, meow, meow? No, I always make a joke about my cat, like Vader being Italian. So we'd be like, I would like some pizza and some tuna. Yeah, the meow. <laughs> and the meow. meow. And the meow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we promised one more SMU confession. Yep, and this is hashtag number 17092. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay. Do any of you girls out there have boyfriends who like to look at other pretty girls? My boyfriend is really <laughs> starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> what does it mean if he has the audacity to check out other girls right in front of me? <laughs> it means he just likes to look at other girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is just really, really, really funny. Okay, let's let's be thoroughly blunt here. All right. Uh, either you're bloody insecure, yeah. or B, you're damn ugly. No. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> I <laughs> shouldn't it be the personality that counts more? Uh, yeah, but I'm just helping answer her question here. You know, okay. there are only two reasons why the, the guy would really look at her. Okay, as much the as really I would re- love to like help the girl out, mm-hmm. I actually kind of agree. <laughs> you kind of agree. Yeah. I agree more with the first reason, though, in the case that she's insecure. Either that, or she's trying to coax attention from her boyfriend by confessing. 
I, okay, you see, here's the thing about SMU confessions. You don't leave your name behind. There's a lot of anonymity. Yeah, and so, half the time you can't tell if it's real or not. Yeah, but so, assuming this is true, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure she's, she's trying to just get some like feedback from others out there. In fact, mm-hmm. uh, the one person here, uh, Charles Law. In fact, the million dollar question here is how insecure are you? Guys will be guys and he will, like it or not, have his eyes captured, captured. by good looking women. Okay, let okay. I'll be blunt for this, the females then. All right. Okay, you know the reason why girls sometimes dress up and all yep. that? Yep. It's mostly because they like to like top other girls. <laughs> it's not really for the guys. <laughs> you know? It's because my sister and I, we had this conversation before. So Sometimes we'd see old, well, married women mm-hmm. when they don't give a shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Then we're like, how? How can you do that? Like, so, other females so, are judging you. So that's the reason for, for infidelity and uh, breakups in marriage. Because your wife doesn't bother to dress up anymore. I don't think that'll be the case. That's the owners on the guys, as well as the woman, actually. Yeah, so your wife doesn't dress up anymore. So other other girls who look pretty and bother to dress up appear in front of your husband. And then your husband sees it and like, oh god, this girl's pretty. Whether your husband actually cheats on you is a whole different story. But I think the whole problem starts when the girl opens her mouth and says, like, oh, you always look at any girls. And then that's where you go, you don't dress up, what? Really? That's yeah, how you see it. Then they'll start bickering and bickering and bickering. So and that's, that's how you see it. Goes. Gwen, really? No, hey, come Gwen. on. <laughs> Stop dragging my girlfriend to this <laughs> thing, okay? This is an SMU radio show. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Uh, uh, this is, anyway, I think it's, I think it's really tough. Okay, to be okay. frank, okay? Uh, Actually, if my boyfriend did that, I would be understandable. Because I would sometimes say, oh, that girl is pretty. If the guy, okay, if any guys out there, right, if you know your girlfriend is like that and starting to get and you're starting to get on her nerves, here's here's a tip from me, all right? Try not to. We, no, not, not, not try not to, right? Appreciate them with your girlfriend. Tell them, say, hey, that girl looks really pretty. And if your girlfriend says, yes, then you're on the right track because both of you will be gushing about that girl. Either that or say why you think it's pretty. She's pretty, not it. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all girls are it. No, 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 like no, no, dogs, no, no. Female dogs. No, my Damn, that female crawl. Damn, stick, stick, stick. Okay, no. <laughs> really? Okay, th- this kind of reminds me of like Who's Line when they had this game called Seeds from a Hat. Yep. And the scene was things you can say to your dog but not your girlfriend. Down, girl. One, <laughs> uh, one of it was, one of it was seriously just one word. What? Come. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh. The, another one, I think, what was it? Uh? Okay, I, I'm sorry to the female society, but you should really watch that show. That, even though half the time they are doing in the windows. Okay, one more is like, get off the mailman, get off the mailman. You know, <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> so like, okay. Okay, I know uh, I shouldn't have been laughing when I watched oh. that, but I couldn't stop laughing when oh, I watched the only, that whole the segment. O- the only thing in my mind is like, down girl, down. <laughs> get down here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All Later, right, all when right. we come back after... A yeah, we're going to move on for right? SMU Confessions, right? Now we're going to go on. Since we're on this whole topic of me- uh, females and stuff like that, we're going to move on to one very interesting article. Although it might be a bit today. controversial. It's it controversial, m- but that's what we like. Of course, that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, but here's a huge shout-out uh, for our next song. It's actually somebody who performed at Social Cohesion, Cohesion Night. Night. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's an event I host it for, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, actually called Tre Vive. Uh, shout-out to the organizing committee. Well done. Vive? Tre Vive. Okay, fine. It's supposed to mean neon-coloured. Tre. Okay, never mind. Tre Vive, yes. Yeah, fine, okay. All right. Um, yeah, and uh, there was one performer perf- performing that night. I helped him uh, rig up his uh, guitar and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And apparently you found out who he is. Yes, because I, I had to say his name and introduce him and mm. mention about his YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So... We found his YouTube channel. We went down to take a listen and he has one original song that really caught our attention. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to do a little free promo for you, Mr. Kenneth, Kenneth Kwa. Kwa. Here is your song, all right, for the whole world to listen. This is Get Cozy. cozy? Get Cozy? Yeah, I think it's called Cozy. So uh, It's called yeah. Cozy, Nobody But You. Nobody, nobody but you. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, okay. you're to do SMU Campus Radio. Your, your station, station, your music. music. And that was... Cozy, nobody but you by Ken of Qua. Yeah, that that was that was a good song. I yeah, think actually, we were he, quite we were quite surprised actually. He did mention that uh he was going for the chill vibe, and I think he got it right out there. You mm-hmm. know, that was quite surprisingly good. Yeah, he said that the story behind this song was that he wanted to write the most chill song he's written, and this song was born. Mm, mm-hmm. And he was about he wanted to show the this song to be about 
the person you adore and just how much you care for them. Yeah. And also just the sweet memories of being warm and tucked under your blanket while the raindrops are knocking on your window and a cup of tea and a good book waiting for you. However, that does not apply to me. That because sounds if, very British, actually. Because because if it's uh, raining, uh, I just, just sleep. sleep. You know, Forget yeah. the book, forget the tea, just let me sleep. Okay, I think it depends on my mood because sometimes I would appreciate a nice cup of tea and a book, but half the time considering I'm in SMU at the moment. Sleep sounds like a better option. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> anyway, if you're wondering, that was Kenneth Kwa, okay, one of the uh, local you- uh, local YouTubers and he was, he performed at the Social Cohesion, Cohesion Night. Night here uh, this year, earlier, in fact, last week actually. Last yeah, week three. Friday, Friday the 13th. The oh, Friday wait, the 13th. Oh yeah, Friday the 13th. Okay, yeah, I think it was week September. Four. Okay, yeah, you know what, week. never mind, it doesn't matter. Alright, now, looking at the controversial article for the day. Okay, it's not really controversial, but it might question All right. your thoughts. Okay, so. the title of the article is called A Lot of People Are Very Upset That an Indian-American Woman Won the Miss America Pageant. Insert cue music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, actually, last Sunday night, which was the uh, 15th of September, Nina Davuluri, Miss New York, was crowned the winner of the 2014 Miss American pageant. She's, in fact, the first... Uh, contestant, contestant of Indian descent to be crowned Miss, Miss America. America. I, I think I think you know what's funny? Her facial expression here is just so epic. Okay, huh? I think it's just that she was very emotional. Yeah, because she probably didn't expect to win. Yeah, because I think Because of the is, whole racial stereotypes against. I suppose so. And also because the American community is largely, well... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess. In fact, actually, uh, some some people on Twitter have said uh, one very interesting straight out the bat says, "And the Arab wins Miss America." I think it's a bit Classic. strange. She's she's not. I think she probably she's has. She's not Arab. And she's, she's Arab. Not I think, Arab I think it's probably she? yeah, but it's quite. Uh, I thought she's an Indian American. Yeah. I mean, so, somebody, okay, one of some, the comment, yeah. one of the tweets that was there is that I swear I'm not racist, but this is America. Yeah, so America's guess, the land of the free, you know? I, I guess this comes to mind the question of whether America is really multiracial or not. <laughs> it's quite interesting, like, actually. Because, I mean, as in, e- you see when... when, when uh, Wait, I saw something more interesting. Yeah. When when this person uh, won, right? I mm-hmm. mean, just take a look at Obama and every single thing. I think they're, 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 oh, getting, they're getting more... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting Kay. more uh, unfriendly about it already. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not going to read some of the other comments because it's really, really quite controversial. Yeah, in fact, some of them even yeah, saying let's that not Miss, go, uh, Miss yeah. America's a terrorist. Oh, man. Yeah, that's just uncalled. So, I mean, what, what, what do you f- what do you feel about it? I mean, as in, th- does she deserve to win? You know, she she performed uh, Indian dances throughout the night and every single thing like that. Uh, so, what what do you think? Do you feel like she should have won? Okay, uh, because personally, because we're in Singapore. Yep. Singapore is considered to be a multiracial country yep. and no matter who wins it is still pretty peaceful and there aren't really quite out- outright racist comments like this. Yeah. But because America is still probably working on their ethnic kind of policies. Yeah, definitely. And But the, I mean, the way I look at it, I mean, if there's a reason why she got chosen, right? Mm. I mean, I don't think I mean, it's because they wanted to push her. She's considered to be Miss New York. So that means she is a legitimate contestant from yeah. New York. I mean, if you do take a look at the picture, she's, she's actually quite pretty. Yeah, she is actually quite pretty. Yep, but uh, considering the fact that she's going to represent um, America, America in maybe this that's why. World. Yeah, I think that's where the controversy really starts. Well, so I guess Americans will just be hoping for a drug scandal or a sex scandal to pull her off a title. Oh, oh right, let's <laughs> not even say that. Cause <laughs> no, the thing is, I don't think she's fully. Indian? It seems that she's Def- of Indian descent. Definitely, so there's definitely a difference. Yep. But nonetheless, you know, good on her. Um, represent a minority. Yeah, I think it also part. has something to do with the state that she's from. Because New York is actually quite open to this kind of thing. Yeah, it's definitely, very, definitely. Very open. But nonetheless, um, it's your it's, it's congratulations. It's your call to decide. Um, America. Uh, whether whether it's your she call. feels it's whether you feel like she does it. Let us know what you think. Drop us a uh, email at Martin and City Show at gmail dot com, and we will see. What you feel next week if there's any email coming in that is. <laughs> Speaking of feels, later when we come back, we'll be going on to a Tumblr which has been actually receiving quite some brilliant reviews. Yep, definitely. And uh, not not to mention we're going to look at the YouTuber of the week. The YouTuber of the week, indeed. Right. So stay tuned. This is New Cambridge Radio. Your station, your, your music. music. Do, 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 do. And you're here with the MS show on SMU Campus Radio. Your station, your music. Alright, and now we're going to tell you something very interesting just in case all of you don't already know. My SMU feels.tumblr. 
dot com. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, this this is uh, actually a Tumblr site created by some some SMU guy who or girl. I have no idea. Remains mm-hmm. anonymous up to now. Um, and it's actually a very good uh, stress relief site thanks to the uh, power of Tumblr and all the funny gifs. Yes. I, I I think there was one point of time I was going through this Tumblr during class yep, and, and I then think you I burst, burst out, out laughing. laughing. <laughs> I and had to... <laughs> and I was like, what the I, hell is I wrong had with this to, person? I had to hold my laughter in so much, you know, when I watched it. In fact, actually, I tried to come up with one or two and I tried to submit it, but it changed my gif. Oh dear. And they and they changed the title of my post. Oh Kinda makes me feel dear. so rejected. Oh <laughs> so sad. Okay, so there was the latest one. <laughs> it's about evicting people, people from, from the GSR. GSRs. Okay. Have you ever done that? Y- yeah, of course. I mean as in you, you go and then after you see all these people inside and it's your turn and you're like, Hi, excuse me, can you please get out? Yeah, yeah. Cut. We booked this room. I've booked like rooms for or rather my group mates have booked rooms before and they don't dare to go into the room and tell them that they booked it. Why? What's wrong? They'll you just wait it. outside and then when I come in like why are you guys outside? Oh there are people inside. So why are you waiting outside? <laughs> That's what? <laughs> Seriously, just go in and tell them we booked this room. Get yep. out. You have your right and you have your say and you don't need to worry about being free one day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's I mean same goes for JSRs. And you know how people sometimes they will give that look like, No, I have this room. Then you just have to take out your booking slip and just tell them like, Ha, in your face. City, I would, ins- very, I would add in the City is very agitated thing. about this. Maybe it's time to cool her down. Let's take a look at the YouTuber of the day. I was the YouTuber of the day. Well, the YouTuber of the day, okay la. This this is uh very interesting. It's a pair of twins. I think I know who they are. And they're British. Oh! Yep, I'm talking about Jack's Gap. <laughs> and okay. Siti is a huge Arden <laughs> fan of this, so I'm gonna let her go on her her whole monologue and soliloquy <laughs> about them. Alright, Siti, take it away. I'm not gonna go into a monologue or a soliloquy on <laughs> them. I mean, really? It's not necessary. Okay, okay. I, the reason why I like them okay, might be mostly because they're British. And, and they're it's just cute. a bonus that they're cute. And they're twins. And they're twins. You can imagine yourself with twins. And if you don't like one, you can go for the other. And you no, 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 no. The same. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want that because I hate the idea of having to choose between two people. But they're exactly the same. It's like choosing the same no, person. No, but okay, because the twi- the two twi- like Jack and his twin Finn are actually quite different. Okay, so would you like to tell everyone more about them? No, <laughs> they're gonna think I'm insane. Go on, tell them why oh. they're so interesting. Is it? Okay, I appreciate when guys know how to become a dumbass. I mean, legitimately, when you can become a dumbass, it's actually, it's quite, it's quite endearing. <laughs> <laughs> a new way to attract city. <laughs> Be a dumbass. <laughs> I think you can find many people at SMU like that. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing about the thing about it is that even though I like dumbasses, the the other thing that I like about dumbasses is the fact that I can make fun of them so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my so, my so my! So I'll pity the guy quite a bit actually. <laughs> I have no idea what to say. You like these British guys because they can be dumb asses. So if they end up with you, you'll make fun of them. And they are really nice. As in like, they are currently... I showed you the video. They're doing a rickshaw run. They're trying to raise funds for this Teenage Cancer Trust Fund. Yep, they're trying to raise funds for um, the people on the Teenage Cancer Trust Fund. So mm-hmm. what they're doing is they're going to raise uh, throughout India 3,000km, yeah. in fact. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's the latest video that come up. And they're going to yeah. post vlogs and stuff like that uh, based on that 3,000km expedition. Yeah. I mean, currently... Okay, because I, I get updates from Twitter. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> they're currently at the Taj Mahal or something. Yeah. Okay. I I can feel the judging <laughs> judging eyes all over me. But yes. Next week I'm gonna feature uh, Nega Higa because he looks like me. Is that, if that's the case, <laughs> you should also feature Kev Jumper. Because he looks like uh our friend Nicholas. Yeah. So that's what people say, but I don't see the similarity. You're blind. All right. Okay. Whatever. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a short break right now. Listen to some more music. But when we come back, um, I think we're gonna wrap things up already. Yep. We're almost yep. done for the day. Yeah. So, yep. so yeah. do stay tuned and we'll see you shortly. Yep, and you've been tuning into Campus Radio. Your station. Your music. And you're back to Campus Radio, your station, your music. And you're tuning into the S and M show because the arranging MNS show. The oh gosh. M and S show. Just <laughs> arranging it any other way like what he did just now. It's uh. just wrong. <laughs>
<laughs> Please pardon me. It's 4:52 p.m. 4:53 p.m. I have a class at seven o'clock, man. Uh, I don't. I shan't comment. <laughs> okay. Um, as you all know, this is going to be our last few minutes. Yep. In fact, uh, we're just gonna close off the show very, very soon. And uh, we we have the uh, inspirational quote for the day. Really, do inspirational have, quote of the day. Do you have any inspirational quote that you particularly love? Oh, it's not really an inspirational quote per se. It's just a quote from Master Yoda. Master from Yoda? Star Wars. He just goes... Are we really going to put it as the <laughs> quote for the day? No, no, because the funnier part is that it's so short. One uh-huh. of... Okay, I remember one of my principals last time. I kind of screwed it up. She said, do or try not. It's supposed to be do or do not. There is <laughs> do no try. Do or try not. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like... When I was sitting down there in assembly hall, I'm like, how can you screw that up? It is so easy. It's just do or do not. There is no try. It's not do or try not. Do Honestly. Or try not. Do or try not to do it. Your principal is pretty freaking epic on that I'm like, level. Are you kidding me? I was su- sitting down and just like, she didn't. No, 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 no. Oh my god, she did. She used it and she's wrong. No. And, and a new fact for you, uh, guys out there who are oh. interested in City, do take note. She's a big Star Wars fan, so knowing your Star Wars quotes and your current Star Wars characters will be a big boost. Yeah, and I like other nerd stuff, so don't judge. <laughs> don't judge. Okay, okay. Uh. I think I think I think we'll stick with this to be the quote for the day. All right, inspirational quote for the day. I'm we gonna, I'm become gonna... what we think about by Earl Nightingale. Dang, I was thank you. I was just about to go and make it all very dreamy, like. All right, you do it. You do it. Okay, you you do it in the dreamiest voice, and I'll I'll perfect. Uh, I'll I'll provide sound effects. Ready. We, we become what we think about by Earl Nightingale. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to us for the past hour or so. We'll be back in about two weeks' time. And you've been tuning in to the MS show. Her name is Siti. And his name is Martin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks' time. More great music coming your way.